Hi. So, good news. Pine Script version 6 is here. And it has many improvements over version 5. In this video, we are going to see one of such good things about version 6 of the Pine Script. Let's see the code. Here, the version of the indicator is 5. Here, we have an indicator function with the name, label size. Then, we create a simple label, that shows some text on it. The label is green in color and is plotted on the very latest candle's high point. And look at this size attribute. It is set to normal. Now, let's add this indicator to the chart and see. Nothing special. We just have our label on the latest candle on the chart. Now, if I want to change the label size, then, these are the default size options that the Pine Script version 5 offers. The options are Auto, Huge, Large, Normal, Small, and Tiny. Let's select the Huge option. OK, so now the label size has increased because we have chosen the size as huge. However, apart from these default size options, there is no other option to alter the label size. But Pine Script version 6 has solved this issue. Let's check it. Now, I have set the version to 6. And here, I have a user input for the label size. The default value is set to 10. And this label underscore size variable is set at the size attribute of our label. So now, whatever number the user inputs here, the label size will be changed accordingly. Let's add the indicator to the chart and see. So this is the label with size 10. Now let's modify the size. This is size 20. And this is size 50. Now the user will have full control over the size values. And this thing is applicable for labels, boxes, and tables in the Pine Script version 6. It is a good change. The Pine Script version 6 has come up with more such good things. We will see them in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.